Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. If you've read the title of my video, you know that Canva acquired Affinity. Yes, today, the 26th of March, 2024, Canva has bought Affinity, the, the company that makes Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Publisher. So uh, there's lots to cover in this video. I wanted to make a, a really short video though because uh, I don't think there's a lot to announce besides the, the fact that they bought it, but I'm gonna show you some of the things um, that I got today. I got an email, this one right here, explaining all of it. Along with that email comes uh, facts, FAQs, as well as a video from Affinity. So let's go to that right now. I'm gonna show you the email letter that I got and then the link, I'll put the link in the description to the FAQs and to the video. All right, so here's the email that I got. You can see I just got it today um, and just four hours ago, I'm making this video really early in the morning of the 26th and you can see um, it says, uh, this is from the CEO right here, uh, Ashley Hewson. Uh, he, he also does a video on YouTube. I'm gonna show you that uh, about what happened here. It's on their channel and we're, we'll go to their channel too. If you didn't know, they, have, they also have a YouTube channel which really cool tutorials, awesome stuff like that. But to get back to this is, uh, you can see, I'm thrilled to announce that Affinity is joining the Canva family. They didn't say that Canva acquired Affinity, which is what happened. Uh, Canva, definitely a lot bigger company than Affinity, uh, acquiring Affinity. And, uh, and one big headline here is none of that changes today. None of the things that if you if you own Affinity, you can still use it. They're still gonna do upgrades. Uh, you know, nothing of that kind of stuff changes. They're not gonna switch right over to Canva and become a subscription model right away. Although I think that's what most people are fearing because Canva, although there are some free aspects to Canva, the pro version of Canva is what everybody wants to use and has a lot more things. And so people are um, afraid that, you know, Affinity, which is a one-time thing where you can just, where you can just buy the uh, app right away is gonna become a subscription model. And right now they're saying it's not, it's not gonna do that. They're not gonna lose anybody in this uh, acquisition here. People are still gonna keep their jobs. Everything's gonna run as normal as of right now, right? I think this is what every, every company says when they're getting acquired, don't worry, nothing's changing and because they don't wanna panic. But the, as, as far as right now, nothing, nothing is changing. Uh, and here's the FAQs if you go to this uh, email it is on their site right here in the newsroom. Big announcement, you can see 26 March today. And here's that video. I'll play a little bit in the background, but uh, basically is what he's saying is the same thing here. He's thanking everybody uh, and why he thinks Canva and Affinity is a, is a good fit. And I think it actually is a good fit. Uh, whether or not it's going to be paid or not is a, is a different thing. But, you know, Canva doesn't have the same tools as Affinity does. And Affinity um, doesn't have all the graphics and all the other stuff that Canva has. So I feel like they, they actually kind of match. I actually use both of them uh, together in my videos and they work well together. And so I, I think it is a pretty cool idea. I just want to see how, how it comes out because I don't want to lose the... the um, the no subscription part. I think that's most people are thinking most people get into affinity because they don't want a, the subscription model like Adobe, but uh, for Canva to compete with Adobe and some of the bigger products, I think this was a good move for them because they don't have something like um, Photoshop or Illustrator or, or these kinds of things and affinity does. So pretty, pretty cool. But again, he goes through the same thing that's in the newsletter here. Uh, and then some facts, some big ones here. I'm going to read the top, the top ones. Um, what's happening as of today, Affinity is part of the Canva family. Canva has acquired Serif, the company behind Affinity Suite and professional creative software, which is what we just said. Why? That's I think that's the biggest question. Why, why did you do this? Um, from the very early days, um, blah, blah, blah. Of course, they're going to say that uh, they believe that together they can produce the most uh, comprehensive visual communications. What they're not going to say is Canva probably made them an offer, a really, really good offer because Canva doesn't have these tools. And if Canva wants to grow and kind of compete with Adobe and some of these really um, professional graphics, you know, as far as the graphic community, the, the graphic design community looks at Canva as kind of like a s beginner model, like not, not uh, big tools like most of the professional graphic designers use Illustrator or Photoshop or things like that. And if Canva wants to be taken seriously as one of those companies that can provide uh, what graphic designers need, I think they're gonna need something like this. So I, I bet that's what's happening. That's not what he's saying here, but of course they're gonna say um, it's a great fit and it's, it's good and it's all of that done. You, 
yeah. Um, what will happen to aff affinity apps? Well, your affinity apps won't be affected of, at all, and I think that's really good. Um, although those of us that are using affinity designer, affinity photo, and so on, um, don't want to have a disruption here, and he said it's going to work. And I, I believe that we're, we're going to still see that. Uh, whether or not it becomes a subscription model in the future, I bet they grandfather all of us in uh, those that bought it. So I'm going to go to the video now to show you where to find that. You can come here, click on this. I'll, I'll put the link to this um, page, this newsroom page on here. But if you click and play this um, and pause it and then go to YouTube, you see that it's open up in YouTube here and they have their own channel. So you can see a bunch of people in comments. Um, most people don't think this is great news because of course they um, fear this subscription model. Um, and if you come here, again, three hours ago, they, this is their channel, the YouTube channel that they have. And you can see this, a message to our amazing community. They're not saying that Canva, uh, which is interesting because the headline should really be Canva acquires affinity, but uh, they're just saying, a message to our amazing affinity community and here's if you are using affinity a lot of great tutorials here um, for for this you can see this these are their apps affinity photo affinity designer which i use a lot uh, and affinity affinity publisher which if you're doing books uh, coloring books or, or just any books um, for kdp i think this is this is a great one right here so this is basically your photoshop uh, your illustrator and your indesign if you're using adobe and now canva can compete i think with adobe um, because of the because of this we'll see in the future how fast this ramps up uh, i'm guessing they're going to want to do a lot of cool things and he mentions this in the video some cool things that are coming up he doesn't say specifically what's coming up but uh, um, some really cool things i bet are coming before the christmas time before you know the sales of the the black friday and all of that stuff um stay tuned because i think Canva is going to release some really, really cool stuff now that they have affinity. So you may be asking um, me what I think uh, of this whole merger acquisition thing. Actually, I think this could be a good thing. Um, I, I know that uh, a lot of people are scared of the subscription model. And yes, I hope it doesn't go that way. And if it does, um, it, it may turn off a lot of people. I'm already paying for Canva Pro and I love all the graphics in there. And really honestly, the, the thing that Affinity is missing are all those graphics and all those stuff. So if you have that to compete with something like Kittle, um, Kittle has graphics built in and it also has some really cool templates. Now, uh, my hope is that people on the Affinity side can make some really cool templates with Canva and so it can kind of compete with the kiddos of the world, but also Canva can now compete with Adobe. So as a business thing, I think Canva made a really smart uh, choice um, to have these professional graphic apps on there for them. So I, I think it's a way for, um, for them to be taken more seriously for the graphic design community. Uh, as far as us as designers, I think it can really help just leveraging all of those graphics. Maybe my hope is that Affinity stays the same, but there's a subscription with Affinity um, and Canva and somehow you can access, maybe Affinity is online. Maybe something that could be something really cool. Uh, and then you can just access all the graphics and make, make things a lot faster instead of downloading. Um, maybe maybe that's the subscription model, the online model subscription, but the desktop model isn't. I don't know what they're doing, but I think um, I've, I've used both before. I've used Affinity and Canva before um, together. I've, in fact, I've, I use it a lot together. I download the Canva um, designs or Canva graphics and bring it into Affinity. And because they're um, PDF, they just work and you can update it and, and so on. So I'm excited to see what's going on. I just hope that uh, it's everything's fair and there is a possible no subscription model and there is a subscription model if you want some of the pro stuff so um, you can hopefully there's a one-time buy and, and a subscription model which gives you maybe access to canva pro or, or whatever it is so exciting to see what happens uh, i think it can be a, a great thing um, but you know, I'm hopeful. We'll see. They say nothing is going to change, but they always say that in the beginning when somebody gets acquired, like we've heard this before with deep public, when they said, we're not going to do categories like 
like Redbubble is in, you know, a month later, they end up doing their own categories and tier system. So um, we'll see what happens. Of course, nothing changes for the moment, but that doesn't mean it's not going to change in the future. So um, stay tuned to to hear more. I'm, I, I believe if I had to put some money on it, we'll hear something before the end of the year. Now, if you want to see more Affinity tutorials, I have a bunch of them. I actually have a whole playlist of Affinity here. I actually have um, for Canva. So that's interesting that both of my uh, apps that I use are kind of merging together. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this was really helpful and we'll see some cool stuff in the future. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.